Okay, I came out here to go do some, see if I could do some deliveries. And uh, it's, it's Monday, 622 is when I got out here. Yeah, right. Um, March 25th. I was supposed to leave about 5, 530. But anyway, I came out and the wind, I was right going right over. A, it's not really a, a bridge right there. It's just the way the road is. And uh, the drop off is pretty bad. If the wind, if something like the wind carried me, and it did, if I were to have gone all the way off. So, yeah, yeah I was late already. I think I'll go home. I not chance it. Yeah, I, I got it. I was already thinking I need to just take my chances and do morning breakfast and then just continue to lunch and see how that works out. Yeah, because usually rush hour traffic here is horrible this time of day. But anyway, best laid plans didn't work. <laughs> but Saturday, we, uh, Adam went with me. And, well, I had actually gone out for lunch. Nothing. It was Saturday now. Lunch, yeah, you know, lunch or breakfast on Saturday, not as good. But dinner, yeah, usually dinner. I'm going to be real busy. Well... I went out by myself over to Murphy, Texas, and nothing good. A two dollar ones, two fifty eight or two dollars, three dollars, this kind of thing. And uh, I'm like, no way. If we're like two something, three something miles, not wasn't gonna happen. And uh, finally, I gave up because some of them were they were getting more and more ridiculous. Like two stacked. I don't do those um, for like. I don't know. You really like pennies when it comes down to it, practically. So, and, and going real far, like 20 miles or something. So, as I was going, coming back home from Adam who called me, and he wanted, basically, he wanted me to pick him up so he could go out and do some stuff with me. You know, do, do some of these. Well, we had first one right off the bat. You know, he just wanted something to get out of the house. So, and uh, you know, he works from home. He's older than I. And he, he works from home, but Saturday he was home. He actually had four days off, so anyway, but he, I guess he got bored sitting at home. But anyway, by himself. Anyway, so I went and uh, picked him up on the way back. We went out there, you know, and immediately, immediately I had a really good one. It's been so long since I had a one that you would think this is normal. This is what would be normal. Instead of these $2 and $3 and $4 ones. Uh, ridiculous mild ones and all that stuff. So, okay. I, don't, I hope I didn't get those kids in that. I'll have to look if I remember. But anyway, so turn it off. But So, where was I? <laughs> so I got Adam. We went out for, right off the bat. I got a, a good offer. I haven't had one in a long while that was that good. And like I said, it's what it should be. But lately, no. And so I went to the place. It was right there. I just had to do a U-turn. And it was right there. And I uh, went in. And I, t I told her, the woman, I said, um, I'm not going to know what this means. It was written in Chinese or something. I'm thinking Chinese. And, uh, and she, she looked, she goes, it's not here. And I said, what? She said, no, somebody's already picked it up. And then she called somebody that was at the, um, at the other register, at uh, the other, or the, at the drive through And I guess she was a manager or something. She, and they said, no, somebody come and picked it up. I said, okay, you know, um, that's all they could say is somebody else had to come to pick it up. So I had to do all that wait and call and all that and they give you a big old whopping three bucks <laughs> um, I don't say which one it is on purpose and just this let me finish here so uh you know you in in your time is just wasted it, it's just wasted like it could be 20 30 minutes you know just being on the phone the, the next one okay the very next one another good one wow good one we get you know I drove over and it was just on the next road over or two roads over, and uh, yeah, got it. Got started to turn in, and a, f a um, 
something flashed really fast. Some kind of notice, notification real fast had read on it. Oops, something went wrong like that. And uh, it was on their, their app. Okay, we, oops, something went wrong. So when I looked and it was gone. My, my offer was gone. And this is the one that sent me, um, has been, you know, had sent me one of two, by the way, had sent me, um, what is it? The contracts, you know, terms and conditions and contracts, sent it to, sent them to me to resign. One of them I didn't because I, I was story reading. I read what it said and I, at the very part, first part of it. And I'm like, uh, uh, so I went and read it online where it wasn't in such language that you cannot understand. And, you know, postmodern speak was one of my things, which is the toughest. Yeah. And I, there was no way I was going to read that. Uh, it, well, I can call it all kinds of names. But no, it was purpose, purposefully made difficult. And so I read it online and I did some digging and I said, uh-uh, you do not have... Uh, you're not having that kind of access to everything about me. No, I mean, it was unbelievable. And that's what they want. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it was because that's, it was the latest one that was just made like a week or two before. And that was what it was online. And it was easier to read, but it was unbelievable. So there's no way I was going to agree to that stuff. No way. Anyway, and then two of them sent me that. I'm not naming which one's on purpose. And uh, I have a few apps. <laughs> anyway. So the second one, Saturday night. Saturday now. I could go to pick it up. I'm, I'm headed toward it. That pop-up comes up. I sit there and that woman, she she was saying, I, I understand what you're doing, but I have to put you on hold in one to two minutes. No. And I tell them, no. You do not have to put me on hold. I can hang right with you. I can, we can sit here while you're looking at it and reading it out to me. No, because I don't think they document at all. Seriously, I have said, well, no, you should have document. You should have a document what the person says to the person before me. So go ahead and read it out to me what that person wrote in the comments. Oh, they will not. They will not. They will, they are good at that same thing that hospital was, remember, three times last, last year in the ER. And even Adam was with me the second time in the room. He said, what did they say? Anything? It was supposed to double talk and skirting the issues and uh, non-answer answers. And that's what, that's what I tend to get when I call to, you know, say, hey, what happened? And I learned to do this because they, they was, they was <laughs> just like she did. So you canceled the order. No, I did not. Did you hear what I said? I did not say I canceled it. I said a pop-up came up and she, <laughs> she does that. And but the one before Adam was sitting here listening to it, I had it on speaker and uh, he was listening to it. He was like, oh my gosh, really? Because <laughs> you know? well, the guy kept saying the same thing over and over and over again. Same thing that I had said, this is the problem. I got there and he said, so what happened was you got there and the order was not, no longer there. Somebody else had picked it up. And he said that like, I don't know, could have been as many as 10 times. Okay, they're just wasting time. Well, then they'll say, I'll put you on hold for one. Let me check something. I'll put you on hold for one to two minutes. Oh, it's not in, you know, and then come back and forget what it was all about and sit, start saying the same thing over and over again. Ridiculous. So, and I told the next woman because Adam actually got out of the SUV, smoked a cigarette, got back in and is still going. And he told the woman, goodbye. <laughs> because he was he sat there listened again for a little bit and he was like i said no that's it you know you're wasting my time it was and i looked at it, it was th right at 13 minutes okay she's just wasting my time and just the, it's psycho it's just psycho and they were had a long wait period too and uh that they were so they were real busy well i wonder why you know so that was second i said i'm, I'm not doing any more on that i'm gonna go to the to another app, which I did. And I don't use that, for, that one of those. Like I said, I never used that one and haven't used it since. They uh, basically docked me because some customer called in and said that they didn't get their order, you know, and I, I mentioned, I think it was some, some T 
teenagers, they could have been adult teenagers, were doing something weird, four of them. Yeah, and uh, I have a suspicion there was some kind of challenge, online challenge. I just did, just the way the whole setup was so weird. Yeah, it was just so weird. And if that's that, that easy. But then again, I did my taxes. When I did my, when I had to get through my taxes for that, I had to, like they told me when I called, um, I'm just going to say they told me, not them, but the appropriate people told me, just calculate how much they deposited. Well, the other place didn't send, say, said that I didn't have enough, none of them, that I'm earn enough, because I only started in July. And they, they all said I didn't earn enough. It's really weird. Um, so I still asked to have have one sent to me, but it said it was not going to send me one before I did because I didn't earn enough. And I'm like, really? It's in the threshold 600. Well, apparently that one has a different kind, and it's 20,000. <laughs> Plus they had taken out, uh, I didn't earn that much on that one. It was like 2,000 2, and something, and they took out 300 and something. And they, they really don't explain what that's why they take out that amount. But then they show that the deposits was only 1000 and something. And uh, you know, minus the 350 something. Okay, and that, that says it's for taxes. Well, it's not that kind of taxes. And what I'm thinking of is, it was, you know, I don't know. I, I try to read what it says on the next page, and it doesn't really make any sense at all. You know, maybe it was, you know, the, the customer had made an offer for something, and then, because I don't have 300 and something of them that they took the um, tip back or whatever, any of that. So it must be something in their own way of doing it. No, because, you know, I would know that don't they have like an hour to ch make a change, but what if they call back later on and they say, oh, we didn't receive it. We didn't receive our meal. Would they then? And then I'm not going to have 300 and 50 something dollars worth but because they're not going to send me my um i don't know see i would not know i don't sit there and write each one of them down which would be you know tedious and write it down as after i make them do them because they might just suddenly disappear or is that what's happening when the these offers are there then boom they're gone because that woman said what sh shows that you canceled it on your end I said, I did not. And I had actually wrote them and called them their tech number, which one time answered for a different one. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that was, I was calling that one. It answered for the other one. It was really weird. But, uh, I mean, this is just like, this is too much for such a little bitty, a little kind of job. It's really when it comes down to, because $2 to go and deliver somebody's their food, I'm not going to do that. I've done it in the past just to get started. I, I fooled myself in, into that, but then I said, no, AIs to me can be trained. Adam, he, he thinks it's, it's just all random. Everything's random. And uh, I agree with some that to some degree. But at the same time, I think you can train, not in a good way, an AI to see that you're taking all these. But who knows? Nobody knows. I'm not going to disclose that, you know, be transparent with that either. Nothing. Pretty much nothing. So anyway, so I said those two. First one, it's not there. The second one, it cancels right as I'm driving, turning in to go there. And it just, boom, it's gone. And then so I go to another app, and guess what happened? That one was pretty weird. Okay, so I go to the next one. And, you know, I, I change apps. I'm not going to use that app. I'm going to use this one. You know, t Saturday night, it might be busier than usual. They, it's usually not that, but they're usually long drives. And I know it might, it might not be that one you're thinking either. <laughs> they all have reputations, don't they? And yeah. Okay, I had to turn around. I don't know if that was a mom with the kids or just kids. You know, I try not to put kids in my videos. You know, there's that whole COPPA thing. So, yeah, I'm not perfect, but anyway. I just see more over here. Hopefully that's not in the... <laughs> you saw my finger. Hopefully that's not in view. So, anyway. <sighs> I'm not going to get this fixed, finished. Anyway, so I get on a totally different app. And by this, by this time, it's, it's like two hours 
has, has gone by. It doesn't seem like it would be, but I'm having to drive to these places and they're not closed. So I got another one on the other one and it was a good, well, it was a, it was a fair enough, but the, that one you don't really know up front how much you're going to make and it doesn't really tell you the mileage. It's kind of, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. Okay, I guess that, I think it's all, it's a teenager, maybe. And she came this way. But anyway, uh, so I go to that when I'm happy, you know, I'm saying, okay, I, maybe I, this will be busy. And they, they have really good uh, bonuses kind of thing. I'm going to call them all bonuses. They have really good ones. And so I go ahead to do it, get there, and I'm waiting. And the, I go to the ladies room and come back out. And the guy says, um, tell me, it's not ready yet. I'm thinking, wow, you know, the time it took me to drive here and, uh, you know, go to the ladies' room, come back out. Usually everything's ready. And so I just stand there and say, all right. And um, they'll they're make it there, you know, right? You just watch them make it. And finally, he, they, they, they you know, I, I say, well, you know, is it ready or something? And the woman said, oh, she, she's about to finish up. Or maybe they just told me that. And it was like, really, this is a wait, you know? <laughs> Quite a bit of a wait. And right at that time, some guy walks in, and he looked, he looked sneaky. You know, my degrees are in psychology and sociology. We learned, like, out of, you know, I was talking to him. I said, yeah, you learn to read people, and you really do. And, uh... I just read him as he, he just looks sneaky and something like this has happened before and um, it was a totally different kind of scene it wasn't a restaurant it was a, a pharmacy actually but he came up to me and he had well he asked the woman he kind of cut in line and all and you know it's, it's kind of weird how it was all set up as it was because it would look like that I did the same which I didn't the woman just said hey, can I help you you know something like that and this guy said, told him, and and the person back there, I don't remember if it was male or female at that point, but said, well, she already has that to, to pick up for him. And then he walked over to me and got his phone real close to mine. I don't like that. And even touched my phone. And, you know, get, keep your grubby hands off my phone. You know? But he looked sneaky. And he said, well, since you were here before, you go ahead and take it. You take the order. And I'm like, S just spidey senses were like, I just went ahead and waited, you know. But what it was, as it turned out, which I do not remember it this way. I remember it had the whole meal. Well, as it then when I went back to look after he touched my phone, ugh, you know, don't do that. He's, he should be lucky that I didn't pop him one. <laughs> he be, I'm not like that. But anyway. So I go and look and all of a sudden it's just um, chocolate chip cookies. And some soda. I'm like, that was weird. It actually had. Because they gave me the, they gave me the, the, the sandwich. Okay, it's not, kind of a sandwich. And... uh so I was ringing up, you know, not ringing up, but I was making a copy of the receipt, which it asked me to do. And I said, wait a minute, where's the rest of this? I said, I, I'm supposed to have, and I looked down, and I'm like, where is the rest of it? And it really got weird because this guy, what did he think I was going to do, deliver his? Because apparently they divided it up, and he, he actually thought I was going to deliver his too, and he gets paid for it. You see what I'm saying? He said, you can take it. Like, and I can take the order since you were here first. Because he, he he was acting like we had the same thing. Well, we didn't. Unless somehow, some way, it got the, the part of it got to, to his phone. See, I'm, I don't want to be all conspiracy theory, but the, the time that something weird happened to me before was with a woman. She was my age or older, and uh, or somewhere around there. And she, I was in the pharmacy and I was looking for some medications, you know, over the counter uh, for the, the offer. And uh, she comes, she got real close and she she put her phone next to mine. And I'm like, who the, you know, what the crap? She got that close. This is Texas. We love our wide open spaces, you know. 
and it's there was there was nobody else in the, you know anywhere around. I didn't see anybody else, but she come walking up to me, and put her phone up to mine and kept kept following me around. Um, and I told Adam I said that was freaky, you know, like she was trying to somehow share on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Get that close to it. I've I've read some stuff about that before, but not as far as an offer. And, I, and it does make me wonder. I don't, like I said, I don't want to be conspiracy theory. But I wonder if that can happen. If they, some of these, like people talk about bots and such. But I, I even do wonder. I mean, I've heard other people talk about other things, like these bots. Okay, I'm, you know, I've heard people talk about bots since 1980s or 90s. You know, <laughs> bots do this, not in food delivery or anything like that, but just various reasons they blame it on a bot. You know, but um, I could see this as far as. Like before, I've been sitting somewhere where you know I was doing delivery, and I was just I was sitting there eating my lunch or something, you know, and watching people who would get out and they go in and get some offer, and I know what it looks like because I know that that store, what it looks like whenever they uh, take an order, you know, and uh, and every time and driving down the road, even Adam and I have joked about it, and uh, I said, look at it, it's a it's a silver car. And it's always a car, and they're always silver. Okay, whether it's somebody sitting there, and I see, one time I sat there, and just in a few minutes, I saw two of them go. And I said, those are bots. Those are people who got it from a bot. <laughs> but I'm joking. But then the more and the more and more it happens, it's not the same make or model, but they're older. They're all older, uh, four-door cars. And this is Texas. More people drive SUVs, um, the SUVs, trucks, and um, sports cars, okay? Yeah, but not just regular old old cars. And now that I'm saying this, more and more cars are going by. <laughs> We're going to go by, right? Anyway, a, a different, that one was actually silver, silver gray, you know. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is you know, it's weird because, like I said, you know, you can look, I can look over like the other day, and I said, that guy must be a driver, and it was, it was on his side, and I looked over, and he, he said, yeah, he's got, he says, is that the app, can you tell? I said, and I told him which one it was, I said, yeah, I can tell, it's, they all have, you know, and it was. It's really weird that it's always silver cars, what, what, you know, if somebody has their own or do they have their own? What would they, they do? I mean, are they going to make enough money even? But it's really weird that the good ones are the ones that I've seen go poof. You know, just, they're there for a second and they're gone. But, you know, one of the things I forgot, because they, they even said, have the nerve one time, when one of them said that I should have taken a screenshot of the, the, the thing. I said, how am I going to take a screenshot when I, one, don't know that it's going to do it? That, my, that suddenly I take an offer and boom, it's gone. I said, I'm going to get a screenshot of that. And I said, yeah, you're right. Well, we, we know that. We know that you can't. And then they have something in their contract, I think it's that one, that says that you can't do, you can't, um, you better catch him. You can't um, screenshot their anything from their um, their app. And I don't think a lot of people know that. Those people who make a lot of videos, uh, it may say those in all of them. That you can't screenshot things, you can't use things, you know, for, you can't use anything on their app. So, I was surprised. But I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on what they have on their apps. And if I read it right, it, I could be wrong. I'm not an attorney or anything like that. You know, I could be totally wrong on all of it. I just don't think so, but uh, I could be, you know, on all this. <laughs> it's, but it's too much, too weird. Too much, too weird, really. And I have been thinking about uh, just canceling it. Yeah, I've been thinking about just canceling because it's so much trouble. And I'm not get, get meeting my goal because it's just, after that third one, I was already feeling really bad. I had, had, had a, some test results came through and it wasn't good. One of them was not good. The other two weren't so bad. It's weird because they're all three of them on kind of like the same thing. But one of them was really, really bad. And uh, I don't know what that really, really bad means. 
but it's not good. And it could just be, and, it's, and when I read on what I could, I don't trust what I read on these things. It said it could just be this, just, you know. And it could just be wrong. <laughs> so, anyway, just so much. And I, I was I was feeling already like, you know, I, I just know I cannot not have health insurance. And that's why I'm doing this, is for health insurance purposes. They don't give me the health insurance. It's through the Affordable Care Act and all that, through the marketplace. But I live in Texas, and you have to. I have to prove that I can earn a certain amount to get any that is anywhere near what you would call it affordable. And places actually take it. From what I understand, they have to take all of them, and they if they if they're enrolled or whatever it was, however she put it, these doctors' offices they can't say, well, we're gonna we only accept a few of you. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe how political some of these people are. Did I, did I mention I'm in Texas? Yeah, that doesn't represent me. You know, I'm an independent, and I think everybody should be able to get affordable health care and not go to ER three times like I did last summer, and they just sit me in a room and not tell me anything. Not tell me anything real. <laughs> you know, I don't think that they, you know, from what I remember from billing that, from when I, the years when I did, I was a career student, but I did things like medical billing. And from what I remember, if they have... Um, was doctor's offices if they have but I think it was all whatever however they treat Medicare everybody has to be treated the same way and that's certainly not whatever the, the way that we're doing but anyway I, it's not a good time for me to lose my health insurance because I can't do enough and I'm thinking I really am thinking my health problem with my feet and all is pretty much over I think but if that what what it was also what was high on that thing is that problem so <laughs> yeah, I can only think that hope that that's what it is and that it was some simple solution that would should help it because I've had it pretty much my whole life and I'm, my whole adulthood I was maybe my whole life I don't know but anyway, I'm kind of rambling in at this point. But, I mean, I should be able, at some point in my life, to be able to make an easy video and say, one, two, three. And these, after that third one, I said, screw this. I am not in the mood. You know, I, I'm a person who always is still, a, it might not sound like it, but because every once in a while I mention that I'm feeling down or something because of all this stuff. But overall, I'm, I'm one just to say, you know, screw it. Don't sweat the small... Well, it's not small stuff. This is definitely not small. But I, I have a more cheerful um, attitude about things than you see online. And then when I make video. But overall, I'm like... Because this is my way of venting. And once I get it out, I'm pretty much fine. Unless it keeps continuing. Which, like I said, I wanted to do about complex post-traumatic stress disorder. My goodness. The things that just keep going, keep going, keep going. At least for me. I don't understand it enough, but yeah, I mean, I understand it <laughs> personally. Anyway, boy, I'm throwing out a whole lot of things, but I would like to be able to one day in my life get to where I can just say one, two, three, you know, and be done with it. But, but that was that whole that whole thing with that third one, that guy, and that can I mean, imagine three in a row on a Saturday, never, if and from th two different apps two different services yeah, i knew eventually it was going to happen right you know the kid kids get in the video so i deleted that hopefully it, it did delete it did i saw it but anyway so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up but i mean what are the odds three i quit after that i quit doing the delivery that saturday saturday night was usually so busy and so just you go do it do it do it do it do it you know no problems but three it's kind of similar to one another problems two different services three in a row it was like no now, what is this what kind of thing and then it takes the other one they I did not get an answer back um, until I think it was like an hour later and then the full answer this is on text from the second app uh, the second delivery company until like way late at night they don't have anybody you can call. Can't call anybody. There's no customer service. 
and their the way that they say that you can get help you know immediately it does not work it, it was it was so screwy and i know other people complain about it but the whole thing and then the, the, the guy actually thought i was going to deliver for him and he had that smirk on his face the one that dared to touch my screen on my phone to get that close to me you know i'm serious i you know i don't think anybody would have uh thought it was bad that if i punched him right in the nose <laughs> seriously he was he, he was decently looked decent but at the same time that that evil kind of look you know like he's up to no good he's sneaky he's this he's that well his his order got left there by the way i wasn't going to deliver it for him and they they couldn't do mine <clears throat> they couldn't do mine because they said that they didn't even have mine on there uh, this is, and, and now we can't call him back as if it's my fault he left I didn't say anything you know, I just went whatever you know <laughs> when he, he thinks he's going to tell me tell me what my job is that oh I can accept it. I was there first I'm not even listening to him you know you're not my boss and you're nobody to me to me and yeah oh, just so su such people I'm telling you Anyway, now I'm wrapping up. Talk to you on another video. Bye.